Thank you for tuning in to the Law Nation Film Session as we take a deeper look at Charles Tapper's first sack of his career. First and foremost, uh, we all know that Charles Tapper loved his speed. I love his ability to capture the edge to as well. He don't have the band that you like, but off this play, the one sack that he did manage to get, he cut into the inside and he was able to get to the quarterback. Now, if we can look at Rob Marinelli's defense, it's second down, four yards to go. They can get the first down and still not score. And uh, we'll see uh, that Charles Tapper make a nice move to the inside, use that speed, and get to Eli. Right, right up to the middle. <laughs> That's everything, guys. I, I love this move right here with Charles Tapper just using the speed. Went right up the middle and got to Eli. And if you look at everything, too, as well, Eli's down in the dirt where he belongs, of course. This line right here was the uh, first down marker. Everybody had on had everybody's uh, covering pretty well out here in space. So that is what we like to see, guys. That's exactly what we want to see out of this play of uh, Charles Tapper. As we get a closer look at everything, we can really see the technique that he used. Just speed burst, explosion off the line, explode, get to the quarterback. That's what you want to see, guys. Explode, get to the quarterback on this play. Explode. Down goes Eli. That's a good play. But we also want to show you guys a bonus clip. I'm going to show you Kevin Dodd. Now, uh, we all know that Kevin Dodd has been released from the uh, Tennessee Titans. Now, they play a different type of defense. This is a 3-4 defense. So pretty much with a 3-4 defense, you have your three down linemen. And then you have your four linebackers. And this particular defense is still the same. This is a first and ten, a different down and out distance. They're going to use a twist stunt. With that being said, the reason why these guys are lined out so far is because they are counting on and betting on this front to get into this uh, backfield. Now, they, that's why they push the linebackers in. So they really traditionally have three down linemen and uh, four linebackers. The difference is that their linebackers sometimes in a 3-4 defense, they're a little bit more athletic. They are required to do so much. And uh, Kevin Dodd is playing right here. He's going to use a speed slash bull rush. He's going to disengage and get out to the quarterback. And we're going to see that after this play. On the offensive side of the ball, 11, he's playing the X. This is your Y, the athletic tight end. This guy right here is in the slot. He's the number two receiver. But you're going to see him drag across here. He's going to get open. But Matthew Stafford will not have the time to throw the ball. This little twist stunt right here. Bull rush, get around to the edge, knock the quarterback down. Now, looking at it from a different angle, get off to the edge, push, get to the quarterback. Now, when you're talking about quarterback play, right, when you're talking about the ability to uh, stop the quarterback from going through his progression is everything. They do the twist stunt. He's not able to see this receiver right here because he's got this Kevin Dodd guy who's fast. He got the speed. He can explode off the line. Just have commitment issues. But if you look at this receiver, wide the world open. That's about 25 yards down the field. He cannot set his feet because he got the guy crowding down on him. And he's not able to step up through the pocket. That's his initial goal was to step up through this pocket and hit this receiver for a big play. But he's not able to get that ball out because of the speed of Kevin Dodd able to get out to the edge. Now, they have him playing as a 3-4 outside linebacker. And he was able to get to the edge, guys. And, and I always love uh, the ability to um, have camp bodies. If he still want to play football, I think he can. Uh, they can take a good look at him. And maybe they can bring in some extra uh, competition out there. I, I do know that we still would need a defensive tackle. Somebody inside. But you just never know. You know, can you rest everything on Charles Tapper being healthy, can you rest everything on Dorrance Armstrong? No, but you can say to yourself, what about this guy? What about giving him a shot out there to make this team? I want to know your thoughts and opinion too as well. That's all the time I have for today. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the bass. Salute. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>